This is a slaughterhouse. It's locked, all right. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Damn it. I think drink no longer stirs. At last, Welcome, a sir, little sir, life. Oh, my God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have... Questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. It didn't deserve this. Damn it. I think drink no longer. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... it's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's the local bogeyman convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, 
I'll best check on them. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. The turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. I'll leave then. Thank you. patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Mm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire! <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. Anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. <sighs> and who might you be? what you want, then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. 
the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Please, leave me alone. I hope I live long enough to see them wet blue boys get what's coming to them. It's locked. It's a good thing you if Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job... He offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well, Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. <laughs>